And we're back and we're moving into our final conversation for today. We're getting all the details about uh, the Belize's first virtual music festival. It's going to be a COVID-19 fundraiser. And we have the organizer joining us, James Sanker. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're, we're gonna try to get the artist back on the line as well to join us in, but uh, we're gonna start off with you, James, and okay. find out uh, just what's happening. Uh, well, it's been a lot of work. Um, even though it's virtual, it's not, um, it didn't eliminate any of the work that we have to do. Um, it's just as hectic as putting together a real, a real live show. Um, but, but it's a learning experience and um, uh, the artists have been very eager about doing this and there's a lot of excitement behind it and uh, and everything is going almost as planned. <laughs> almost as planned. Uh -huh. And how did the idea for the festival come about? Um, it kind of grew organically. Um, I had a project that I was doing called a remote artist collaboration project which was that would allow artists from across the world to record together. Mm -hmm. okay. And so those artists got together and said, well, couldn't we do this and make it live? Right? And so we, I said, yeah, I think I can make that happen. And so we spent like a week testing out different software and different platform, and we finally got it to work. And so we decided to make it into a show, and yeah. then the work started. You get it done. How do you organize it? I put it together. So we should have Bastik on the line. Bastik, you there? Okay, no, not as yet. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to check in with him and see, um, hear from him as an artist, just what he uh, wants to bring to the stage. James, who have you been able to get uh, who have agreed to participate in this virtual music festival? I have like 17 artists throughout the, throughout the country. Wow. Uh, I sent you some pictures, but I'll, I'll try to not forget it about it. <laughs> uh, we have Bastic, we have um, Nello Player, we have JQ, we have uh, Adrian Cap Martinez, oh. uh, Lovelace, uh, Sam Harris, uh, who am I missing? Denise Castillo, um, uh, Bad Girl Sharon. What? You bring back Bad Girl Sharon? <laughs> right, right, right in a farm. <laughs> I think I'm kind of tuned down a little bit, but yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Patico as well. Brad, yes, Brad. Yeah, Brad. See, I know I'm going to miss somebody. Mervyn uh, Bodram. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're bringing the gospel. No, we can't. I can't do any program without doing some gospel. Yeah. Right? Um, that's just me. Um, we got Indio. Ross Super Indio. G. Yeah. Indio, yes. There you go. Thanks, thanks, Marlene. Uh, those are just some that I, I am noting from, from yeah. the pictures. Yeah. We got uh, Justin Castillo, J. Cass. Yeah, see, we're missing yeah. a few. Um, but yeah, it's a large lineup of very, very talented artists um, that, that got together and says, let's, let's put in the work, mm -hmm. right, um, and get it done. Um, um, the artists are not getting paid like a regular show. We have set up a virtual tip basket um, it's very unique. Um, people are asking me how we could have done, but we got it done. We go to tips.bz, and anywhere in the world, you could basically put your card and choose the artist that you want to tip to, and, and they will see their tip directly to the artist. Okay. So you can tip them. Uh, uh, is this through an online payment? Yes, yeah, an online payment. You go to www.tips.bz. Set up specifically for this. Uh, um, I kind of combine my IT, <laughs> my IT knowledge, along with the music world. Now I got to combine both of them, and I put that together. And so, anywhere with uh... Okay, so we got Bastic on the line now. He is making hi, an hi. entrance. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Once more, are you guys doing good? Mr. Yes. James, good to have you guys on board, man. Yeah. So, Bastik, tell us uh, why you decided to join in on this project. Well, um, over the years, me and James have been working with the Belize Music um, Agency for a long period of time. And right now, through the lockdown and the, all the COVID and the epidemic and the pandemic that's happening worldwide right now, within the artist's platform, it's impossible for us to be, be out 
and having concerts and interacting with our fans. So I, I thought that this was one of the one of the best ways so I could get in contact with the fans and let them know exactly that we're we're still here. We're working with them. We're making good music. We're trying to find different ways that we could get in contact with them, although we're still on lockdown. So it's the first time that we're doing the virtual festival, but mm -hmm. um, the little glitches, and so we're polishing it up. So, but it's an awesome feeling, and we just hope that it turns out very good. You know. And what um, has your like creative process or anything changed due to the lockdown? We know that. Of course, you know certain movements um, are kind of restricted, and you may have other, you know, you may have been facing other challenges. I'm not sure. So, what what, what has it been like over the past couple of weeks for you as an artist? Well, um, I was working on some new um, new music. I was in Jamaica earlier in this year. I was working with Mr. Sly and Sly and Robbie. Who, um, um, we're working on some new reggae music, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, I had to halt all that project and come back home. So because of the COVID. So that is a little error right now that I'm trying to work up because I did spend a lot of finance going in there and on the project and then I had to um, put it to a halt. So that is one of the instances that I'm trying to trying to polish up right now because we're not making any money as artists right now because no concerts or nothing. No, uh, no. So this is the only platform right now we see that by, by being on this platform with James and so forth, we could try getting in contact with some fans and ask for Donations, a little tips that we, you know, could put us somewhere and be some um, useful, worthy cause. All right, so so that's that's um, I think a really crucial point. People are online and people are consuming different forms of entertainment. We see the DJs are out there every mm -hmm. day spinning something. Um, we see people, uh, you know, doing dances, all kinds of stuff. So now yeah. you're hoping that you could be able to put out your music and uh, get people to support you because where um, you would normally make your money by going out and doing your performances that's not going to happen right now exactly yes yeah, yeah. so yeah. so that's right that, that um, this platform is a platform for us to try reach out to them and ask them for a little support or that do donation you know so okay. and it, it will take us a long way yeah. yeah have you been coming up with new music in the meantime Oh, definitely sure. Yes, yes, yes. New music always coming. I'm, I'm always writing yeah. and I'm working with different artists also to um, help them perfect their craft or um, put a little skill more into the craft. So yes, every day we're all, I'm actually, I'm in the studio right now. So we, <laughs> we have a couple works, a couple works get, need to get done. So, and then I also have um, different projects and then different things that I'm working on. I also find that because we're doing a movie and also sort of thing with, huh? Um, a, a local movie with Belize and so there's a lot of work going on right now but wow. every, like I say everything is on hold right now so yeah. and what about uh, preparing for the virtual concert because that I imagine is going to be a lot different from you know preparing for a normal show oh yes definitely at worst like probably the first time um, um, yeah it's going to have a little difficulty to, to it but we're going to see how it goes And but because I don't think it's not more difficult than actually just being in front of a camera and performing but it's going to be a little different because with the energy that the people usually gives you then yeah. you know what I mean but the deliverance is supposed to be there so I guess they're supposed to look for a good show because we have a lot of good artists on board like Ras Indio and we have um, Adrian the Doc and a whole heap of different artists you know so they'll, they, they're supposed to get entertained at home for the first time the, the, the platform, the platform to allow um, the, the people that are watching to actually be part of the conversation, also to um, uh, to chat, so they could get some kind of reaction. Um, they are, they are from the audience a little bit. Uh, they're doing uh, making that part of it, um, interact with our audience. So. Tell me how this is gonna happen. Is it that everybody's gonna be live from their corner of the country all on um, tomorrow night? Yeah, we got yeah we got a mix. That was the original idea. Mm -hmm. um, to basically get everybody all at once, but we ran into some problems where the internet in some places didn't support the speed and some quality that we wanted. Yeah. And so, so some of those artists is going to be like pre-recorded, and some of the other artists is going to that that we have. Good testing facility, we'll, we'll be able to bring them on um, uh, as a live. It, it, um, in some cases, we have artists that are performing the same song from different locations. Those are the ideas that we're basically looking at. Uh, the, the platform can definitely support that. And uh, 
we see that when we do a show the next time, we'll be able to do exactly what you play just for Marley. And we'll bring a group of artists in and they'll all be performing together on the same stage, regardless of where they look. Okay. And how do you ensure sound quality? Because there's a difference between playing music online and actually yeah. performing live. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, that, that was our biggest hurdle. Yeah. Um, uh, to try to get the sound quality, but we have found some very innovative software that allow us to do those kind of adjustment that you normally do on the stage. Um, uh, we are able to solve that problem um, uh, early in the early in the uh, part of our testing that we are testing. We are able to solve that. Mm -hmm. So you have to have good sound quality on this um, live live musician and live music, live instruments. Uh, uh, you'll be able to get that some quality that you'll not really get when you're at the show. Okay. And, you know, I mean, this idea, you're, you're talking about two things here. One, you're offering a night of entertainment um, with pure Belizean artists um, and at different genres of music as well. But you're also doing this as a fundraising event. But the fundraiser is to help the artists. Right. Now this isn't something I think people are thinking of. We're thinking of people who, you know, may not have food items or um, have lost their jobs. Um, and so often we're not thinking of people who have been impacted. James, tell us, uh, tell us why you decided to be the one to champion this cause. Yeah, well, we, we are right in that same boat with people who lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's True. right. Same boat. We're right in that same boat. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and our artists, uh, our artists are a little bit more vulnerable if you think about it. Um, our artists basically survive um, when they work. We don't get a paycheck every week. We, we, if we don't work, we don't have a show to do, we don't get paid. And, 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 and so we're a little bit more vulnerable if you think about it. And, and for, for every single time when you have a fundraiser, the artists have came forward, gave their time. And, and supporting fundraisers every single time. Uh, this is like a part of that. Now, you guys are supporters. We have support every single fundraiser that to think about the amount put part in those fundraisers. Yeah. But this is just a time for us now to ask back support the artists now. Yeah. Uh, Bastik, yeah. I think, you know, you probably talked to the other artists as well. and. Um, uh, people, you, you are so absolutely right when you say that you survive on having gatherings, social gatherings yeah. happening. You gotta yes. go out, and I mean, Easter is a big weekend for artists. You completely missed that one. Um, some of the other holidays that took place. Um, so, what's it like from the artist community and, and your friends um, as well? Well, right now they're facing um, hard little hardship. They're facing the crisis like everyone else and they're looking around for um, support and little handouts and for them for them to go by because th before this pandemic Billy's and artists didn't have constant constant shows and being booked constantly so they could accumulate a capital whereby they have a savings so with the pandemic coming down on them they they, they, they they went out and just used all the money that they had saved and the little pocket change and so forth. So they're in the same situation right now, trying to look in for pantries and handouts and different stuff. So it is taking a toll on, um, on the artists, likewise, the musicians all over Belize because they're seeing the hardship of this. Yeah. I'm sure you miss the stage too, don't you? Oh, I miss it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, Mark. So how do you prepare for an online you know there's a there's i always ask you guys this when you're here so there's a difference between being in studio and being on stage um yes. this is kind of mixing both you got to think of who's watching uh, <laughs> and how you're going to get that energy and you're also kind of you're in a studio yeah yeah so right so with that case you have to differentiate as an artist what um what song you're gonna sing how you're gonna sing the song what um what audience you're trying to penetrate so it's a little different because sometimes when on stage you could look you could just go out and look at your artist and i could say okay bastic you need to sing this type of song this type of song and this song mm -hmm. and that will entertain the crowd but remember now i have from what from 2 to 92 or 2 to 95 watching me on the on the on, on the virtual festival so i need to differentiate the different music and make sure that everybody gets the same the same idea what i'm what i'm, what I'm putting across you know so yeah 
that's the difficult part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, I guess. Yes. Um, no, you can continue. Yeah, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a little bit more planning on the artist side. I, 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 I have been working with them. I'm trying to tell them that um, uh, for now, um, keep some of the things simple. Um, yeah. Uh, so that we could basically get get uh, the feel of the artist right up close to the people. You have to remember that you're going into their living room, mm -hmm. right? It's not yeah. like we have to right in front it's different well you are stealing some of your concept right in the living room right yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, so um yeah so yeah that idea um, is a little bit different for us we didn't we didn't have to go in your living room before but now we um, have to target our audience and plan our show about going into a living room yeah uh, so, I mean, so so that was all different how they performed yeah. and have you guys done any like any like real sort of rehearsal just to like get you in the space to like actually perform but like from your studio oh, or from your house? Oh, lots of rehearsal. Yeah. Oh, wow. lots, of test, lots of testing, lots of testing. Yeah. Remember this is a new platform. Yeah. Um, uh, um, a lot of technical things had to work out. Um, yes. So what's that like? Tell us about that practice, the rehearsals and how they've been going. Basti? Yeah, well the rehearsals, Sometimes like, I have to be on, on my phone or my WhatsApp with James and then online on the um, on the virtual platform because we, we both could see what, what um, one another is doing. So in that case, I would have to be on my cell phone and talking to him talk. because he's going to say, well, Bastik, you know what, change the card and Bastik did this or whatever. Or put, the, put the, um, the, the phone a little bit closer to the speaker. Let me hear what you... And whole heap of different thing. And, oh, tweet that. You need to do this. Oh, you need... You, you can't <laughs> sing it so high. You need to come back down or whatever. So on the stage, I know exactly what is, the, what is needed to be done, but... With James over the phone with me, he's like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but he always, he, James is somebody, he looks for perfection, you know? He's a perfectionist, so I, I, I give thanks for that because he makes sure that we um, reach the pinnacle to um, that, that we're trying to reach, you know? So I give thanks for having me around for all the years. Well, it sounds like you guys have been putting in a lot of work, and, and you are so right when you keep on saying it. I mean, we are adjusting hair, same thing or TV medium is changing, now music medium is changing, or changing. I should say live performance um, for music is changing. Uh, tell us how it's gonna work, because what we've seen a lot are, are kind of like online YouTube or Facebook lives. You guys are going a completely different route. Tell us how people can tune in. Well, yeah, we have, um, it's a kind of multimedia uh, platform. Um, we're gonna be streaming live from uh, about five different Facebook pages okay. throughout the world. Um, uh, it's a direct live from those particular pages, not the shared page. Um, um, it's, it's as if those particular locations are going live themselves. And all, of the, all of the communication between their, their, their friends, uh, her, her friends and from all the way to us, so we get totally back of so which Facebook yeah. page should we go to see it tomorrow? Because it's tomorrow night that it's happening. Uh, uh, all right, there's several. You could probably go to the virtual music festival web webpage. Okay. Place. You can go there. You can go to you can go to uh, uh, the press office um, Facebook page. Okay. You go to uh, um, niche speaker. Um, page, ambassador, the music ambassador page also. Yep. Okay. The music ambassador, music page. So what happened with basically link this music page? There's a plug that goes in Facebook that people kind of look that you could actually make those Facebook page part of. But it's not a share. It's yeah, possible. it's everybody going live at the same time. Okay. Right. And looking at the um, looking at the concert is one thing. But then you also want people to uh, show some kindness to our artists. And so that means they have to go to a web page to be able to deposit some money um, to their, their individual artists, their favorite individual artists. Or be kind enough yeah. to give a little bit to all. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be awesome. So what's that website? What's that website, James? www.tips.bz. Okay. www.ips. That easy. Okay. Okay. And it's using Very credit good. cards or, or online banking deposit? Credit card. Mm -hmm. Credit card. All right. Credit card. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Visa, MasterCard, and your credit card. That's it. 
All right. So, so keep it for, we have a couple of um, uh, sites in the diaspora that's going to be sending us. Oh. All right, guys. Well, uh, here's the last chance for your invite to Belize. Uh, through our, to our viewers at least to tune in tomorrow and to show some support. Go ahead, Bastic, you take it. Well, I just want to once more like thank you guys for have, having me and James on board. And uh, I just want to tell the fans that look out for um, good music, all the best um, through this whole pandemic. And you guys stay safe and look forward for all the contributions. And you have a blessed and awesome day. Be uh -huh. safe, please. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And once again, remember, you can tune in to Belize's first virtual music festival tomorrow. Uh, that's uh, May 1st. And it's going to be online. You can access it through the government of Belize's webpage, Niche's webpage. And uh, as you can see from the flyer that's up, the number of different pages that you uh, will be able to tune in. You're also asked to show some kindness to our artists as well. Uh, they're not able to work if there are no social gatherings taking place. So you can go to tips.bz um, and uh, send them some money to help them through this time as well. Thank you very much for joining us and giving us the details and best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mar. You have a good day. All right. Stay safe. Likewise.